Okay, hello again, everybody. Okay, I don't know what part. Um, fifth part five na bato I forgot. <laughs> but this problem number. I think this illustrative problem number two. I had uh, the time to write the entire problem, so. Okay, I think. We should start solving it. Okay, let's try to let's read the problem and then we'll interpret it later on um, I hope you have your modules with you again because I will not be writing everything on uh, the whiteboard no? mga explanations done that I might not be able to mention during the discussion but I think I have written a lot of explanations in your module <laughs> more than yeah mas pattern compared sa solution ng buong problem but anyway I'll try to explain as briefly as I can so the let's read the pump turbine system in the figure draws water from the upper reservoir in the daytime to produce power for a city uh, at night that should be at night it pumps water from the lower to upper reservoir so at night it pumps water from lower to upper reservoir to restore the situation for a design flow rate of 56.781 cubic meters per minute in either direction the friction head loss is 5.1816 meters. Estimate the power in kilowatts, letter A, extracted by the turbine, and letter B, delivered by the pump. So we have a pump turbine um, machine here, although this doesn't really exist in reality. But just to illustrate how uh, the energy equation works, as just assume there's such an equipment exists. I don't know. Who meron talaga. Never seen one before. Okay. But, okay. Ito na. <laughs> Letter A. Um, estimate the power extracted by the turbine. So, let's try to solve Letter A first. A muna. Then, so, estimate natin yung power extracted by the turbine. So, pag night time ba to? During daytime, turbine siya. So, during daytime, turbine. So, the direction of flow is from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir for this machine to function as a turbine. So, pag uh, daytime, mag-flow yung tubig dito, paikutin niya yung turbine, and then magpo-produce siya ng uh, electricity. Okay. So, ang solve natin kung ano yung power generated by the turbine during uh, daytime. So, what are we going to do? We're going to apply the energy equation here. So, we're going to apply the Bernoulli's energy equation. Okay, so sa Bernoulli's energy equation, we need two points. As we have discussed before, there's always... So two points involved when we apply uh, Bernoulli's energy equation. So where do we put the two points? So lagay yung dalawang points na yan. So you should examine the situation and put the points where uh, mas ma ano ang mas magandang term dun. Mas konti yung unknown sa equation. So you should take note na ilang ilan yung unknown sa equation if, if pag may involvement ng pipe tsaka head loss ano marami uh, sa left side <coughs> uh, there are three terms on the left side and then uh, we have four terms on the right side of the equation including the the term for ano, um, the power generated by the turbine the plus yung head goes pa pala so to para mas ma-facilitate mas madaling mag-solve solve yung uh, problem ilalagay natin yung dalawang points na yon 
kung saan may eliminate yung number of unknowns so sa ating ilalagay yon so where do we put those two points uh, and uh, of course we need also to one consideration also is the direction of flow ano so the direction ng flow so ang direction ng flow the numbering of two points should follow the direction of the flow so meron tayong origin at destination so in this case since the uh, the system <coughs> uh, since turbine yan nagde-generate ng electricity so hindi naman iikot yan kung galing sa baba yung ano yung tubig ano kung galing sa baba yung tubig ibig sabihin pump yan so ang direction ng flow is from the upper reservoir to lower uh, reservoir it's the direction of the flow so ang ilalagay natin ngayon yung point 1 dun sa water surface dun sa upper reservoir so point 1 sa may <coughs> uh, water surface sa may upper reservoir point 2 sa may water surface sa may lower reservoir bakit dun natin nilagay ang point 1 tsaka point 2 uh, ang goal natin is to eliminate the number of unknowns so at point 1 anong velocity sa point 1 So, ano bang velocity sa point 1? Uh, let's try to write muna the energy equation para maintindihan natin yung, uh, yung situation. So, at point 1, sa sabi sa Bernoulli's energy equation, the energy at point 1 is equal to the energy at point 2. Plus, since turbine ito, turbine yan during uh, the daytime. Turbine plus yung head loss from 1 to 2 sabi sa head ang head loss natin meron given so head loss from 1 to 2 plus yung uh, power extracted by the turbine h e so if we try to expand this it's equal to v1 squared all over 2g plus uh, p1 over gamma plus z1 is equal to e2 which is equal to v2 squared all over 2g plus p2 over gamma plus uh, z2 plus yung head loss from 1 to 2 plus yung power or energy head extracted by the turbine now let's examine sa my point 1 ano bang, ano bang velocity sa point 1 so imagine these are reservoirs so uh, medyo uh, deceiving lang kasi yung uh, schematic dahil yung yung illustration natin because the, the reservoir here seems so small ano? but in reality reservoirs are very large you know? Ma, malaki ang mga yan it holds uh, millions of cubic meters of water thousands pwede rin sound thousands not millions of uh, cubic meters of Uh, water. So, malaki yan. So, kapag na, dumalo yung tubig sa may pipe, let's say this is a pipe, dadalo yung tubig sa may pipe, if you compare the velocity uh, dito sa may pipe, compared dun sa velocity ng tubig pagbaba ng uh, water surface sa may reservoir, if you compare the velocities, of course, this, the, the velocity inside the pipe would be a lot faster than the velocity downward velocity of the water surface so with that we can actually neglect so para negligible yung movement niya because pababayan very 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 slow yung movement ng ng water surface sa my reservoir so very slow yan so we can neglect the velocity ineneglect na natin yung velocity if that is the case so, uh, velocity yung first term natin dito sa may energy equation would now be equal to zero since the velocity is very very slow compared to the velocity inside the pipe or the conduit now the same is true dun sa point 2 since reservoir din yan napakalaki napakalawak na reservoir the movement, the upward movement of the water surface is negligible. So, very, very slow yan compared dun sa velocity sa loob ng pipe or conduit. So, we can neglect 
the velocity dun sa may water surface sa may reservoir. Okay? Second would be the pressure. Ano ba yung pressure sa point 1? The pressure at point 1 is atmospheric pressure. Since nilagay natin yan sa water surface, the pressure at, at, at point 1 is equal to atmospheric pressure. So, P1, atmospheric pressure. P2 is also atmospheric pressure. Yan. So, parehas sila. Ibig sabihin, cancel yan. Uh, same din naman yung unit weight. So, cancel yan. Dalawang terms na yan. So, mawawala yan sa equation natin. Ayan. Uh, Z1 is the elevation of the water surface ay given nandyan. Huwag yung ilagay yung point dito sa hindi nyo alam ang elevation. Ano? Ayan. Hindi pwedeng dito. Hindi mo alam yung elevation yan. Z2 is also known. Then, head loss from 1 to 2 is known. We are solving for the <coughs> Uh, head, energy head extracted by the turbine so ganun yung point nun so ilagay natin yung points two points where uh, wherein may eliminate yung number of unknowns dun sa equation natin so pwede namang ilagay yung point 1 dito as long as alam mo yung velocity dyan sa point B. for example alam mo yung velocity dyan at alam mo yung pressure at elevation. Now, pag nilagay mo yung point 1 dyan, hindi mo alam yung velocity, hindi mo alam yung pressure, then that would be additional problem on uh, dun sa uh, additional problem yan. Ano? Hindi natin alam. How will, how will you uh, find out unless there are other factors na included dun sa problem. So, ilagay natin yung points 1 and 2 where we can eliminate the number of unknowns in the equation. So, we're left with Z1, <coughs> Z2, head loss from 1 to 2, and then HE. So, the equation now would reduce to Z1 equals Z2 plus yung head loss from 1 to 2 plus yung energy head in the turbine. And okay. That's it. And then we can now solve for HE. What is Z1? That is 45.72 meters. That should be equal to Z2. That is 7.62 meters from plus yung head loss from 1 to 2. That is 5.1816 meters plus yung energy head extracted by the turbine so the energy head in the turbine is equal to so 32 32.9184 32.9184 now we need uh, to compute for the power extracted by the turbine, power is equal to Q gamma times HE. Uh, Q is given, that is 56.781 cubic meters per minute, but it should be in cubic meters per second. So, convert natin yung Q, gawin natin cubic meters per Per second, so 56.781 cubic meters per minute. So how many seconds in one uh, minute? So in one minute, we have 60 seconds. Cancel the minute natin. We're left with the discharge equivalent to 0 0.9464. Cubic meters per uh, second. Okay, we can now substitute this value in the equation natin for power. So Q is equal to 0 0.9464 cubic meters per second times unit weight of water. Since we are to solve it in, in kilowatts, that's uh, that should be in kilonewtons na lang. So unit weight of water is equal to 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times the head extracted by the turbine that's 32.9184 uh, meters 
So, we cancel yung cubic meter. We're left with kilonewton meter per second, which is equivalent to kilowatts. Yan. So, the power extracted by the turbine is... <coughs> 305.6205 <coughs> kilowatts. Okay, may problema sa bosses ko. Kilowatts. So that is the, the power extracted by the turbine. <coughs> okay? So ganun lang yan. So re just remember, so pag mag-apply tayo ng energy equation, we need two points ilagay natin yung we in assigning points we follow the direction of flow in this case the direction of flow is downwards or from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir so ang point 1 dapat natin ay nasa taas na point 2 natin sa baba and designate those points where we can eliminate um, unknowns as many as we can no? yun sa my equation natin ayan then apply the energy equation solve for the unknown uh, term okay so that's for letter a so kapag letter b naman letter b kapag naging pump ito so letter b naging pump siya So, gumabi, naging pump yung uh, machine. That means the direction would be different. The direction of flow would be different now. So, ang direction ng flow natin is from the up lower reservoir. The water would be coming from the lower reservoir. It will go up to the upper reservoir. So, ang point 1 natin ngayon ay yung lower reservoir. Point to natin dun sa my upper reservoir. Of course, those points should be designated at the water surface to eliminate yung velocity head at saka yung pressure head. So again, actually we are going to use the same equation here for letter B. So letter B natin, ang itsura ng equation natin na yan ay E1. Plus since pump yan, it adds energy to the equation. To the... Yeah, system I should say energy to the system so E1 plus yung pump HA is equivalent to the way yung direction ng flow is now upwards so 1 2 yeah. so E1 plus HA is equal to E2 plus yung head loss from 1 to 2 which is also equal to uh, the same thing yan, is 56, I don't know, where is that? 5.1816 meters yung head loss from 1 to 2. Since parehas lang naman yung discharge, parehas lang naman yung roughness ng wall ng pipe. So definitely they will have the same head loss when it goes up and it goes down. Okay, I'll spin. Is that 45? Okay. Okay, so if we expand this again, B1 squared all over 2G plus P1 over gamma plus Z1 plus HA is equivalent to E2, that's B2 squared all over 2G plus P2 over gamma plus Z2 plus your head loss from 1 to 2 again. Same justification, same explanation. And V1 is 0, V2 is also 0. P1 and P2 are atmospheric pressure. They would definitely cancel. And so we're left with Z1, HA, Z2, and head loss from 1 to 2. So Z1 is e, uh, plus HA is equivalent to Z2 plus yung head loss from 1, 1 to 2. What is uh, Z1? So Z1 is 7.62 meters plus HA, yung unknown head delivered by the pump. Uh, Z2 is 45. 
5.72 meters plus yung headless from 1 to 2 that is 5.1816 meters so the energy head in the pump needed dun sa my pump that should be equal to uh, equal yan sa 43.2816 uh, meters yan yung energy head in needed energy head in the pump but we are solving for the power delivered by the pump. We are going to use the same formula or equation. That's Q gamma um, H A. Yeah, I think I erased yung ano, <laughs> kinonvert natin na discharge. Anyway, I hope you remember it. So the power is equal to the power needed this, para ma deliver yung water from a lower reservoir to the upper reservoir is equal to Q and Q kanina 0 0.9464 I think cubic meters per second times uh, parenthesis 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times yung head HA that is equivalent to ay, medyo kwan alitan natin na that is Q0.9464 uh, cubic meters per second times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times yung HA uh, ito, that's 43.2816 uh, meters. Again, cubic meters cancel yan. We're left with kilonewton meter per second, which is actually kilowatts. So we have 401.834 uh, kilowatts. That's the needed power to deliver the water from point 0.1 to point 0.2 okay. so kanina yung power generated by the turbine is uh, 305.6205 kilowatts yan yung turbine so mas marami mas maraming kailangan na power to deliver yung water from lower to upper reservoir so mas malaki yung power na kailangan ng pump kesa dun sa nagja-generate na tubig. Ano? Kaya medyo hindi <laughs> hindi ganun ano. Wala tayong ganitong machine because yung power needed para ibalik mo yung tubig sa taas ay mas madami compared dun sa ay mas malaki ano compared dun sa nagja-generate mo na electricity kapag naging turbine siya. So it's not practical to uh, to manufacture manufacture such a machine. Although I think it, it would be possible naman to manufacture yung ganyang machine. Ano? Pero I don't think it would be practical enough. So, ganun. So, that's uh, how we apply the energy equation. So, if you have questions later on, you can raise it through our group chat. Sa messenger and then you can also personally message me dun sa MVLE later on. Okay, so I encourage you to ask questions, or you may also post your questions dun sa comment section sa YouTube sa, sa video na no? sa video. Um, hopefully makita ko agad para masagot ko rin agad. <laughs> so that's it. Um, it's the second, uh, uh, the, the next problem, the sort of problem would be presented using a separate video. So see you in the next video.